Hey there folks, welcome back. Sorry for the super paranoid sounding title, I'm not trying to sensationalize here. Didn't quite know how to word this. This is based on a commercial. Now, in life, there are things that kind of slip by. You don't really pay attention to them, you ignore them. And right now, with the current pandemic that's going on with the C-virus, it's getting really easy to ignore all of these commercial ads that are on television and all, all these watching apps and on YouTube and everywhere else that pop up constantly, you know, the, oh, wear your mask and we're all in this together and all this other nonsense. People are getting to the point where even the most paranoid sheeple are really beginning to question the whole thing about whether or not any of this was necessary. Is this really worse than the flu? Um, did they go too far? Are they testing us? Things like this are starting to pop up more and more. A lot of people don't get it, but many more do. A lot of people are starting to question what's been going on, but they're ignoring the uh, subtle nuances of everyday things like advertising. And this commercial in particular has been popping up a lot. I don't know if you've seen it, but I thought it was really interesting and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you now. If you need to go to a shelter due to a natural disaster while the coronavirus is still a threat, always follow local instructions and take these steps to help protect your family. First, take your emergency supply kit with you. When you arrive, observe the CDC's latest guidelines like wearing cloth face coverings, bringing cleaning supplies and hand sanitizers, and staying six feet away from anyone not in your family to reduce the spread of the virus. Disasters won't wait. Neither should you. Visit ready.gov slash plan to make a plan today. And there you go. Now I know it says in case of a disaster, doesn't specify what the disaster specifically is. Generic disaster, I guess. But why is the government sanctioning commercials about virus protocols for being herded into a shelter? I think that's a little odd. You know, when the government, to me, is issuing official videos describing the protocol for going to a designated shelter during a pandemic slash emergency, should we be worried about that? <laughs> because, you know, if the current pandemic has taught us nothing, it's that most people are good little peons and they're going to do whatever they're told. They're going to follow instructions without question. The government says jump and they don't say how high. They're already in the air. It's really that simple. You can walk out in the street and see people driving in their car with a mask on. Makes no sense. <laughs> you know, stay six feet apart so that you won't spread the virus. But when you move up in queue, you're standing right where they were. So <laughs> what's the difference? You're touching what they touched. What's the difference? But something like this commercial, it could slip right under the radar. You're not paying attention to it. You're not thinking about it. And this is an official government video sanctioned by FEMA and the CDC telling you, okay, you know, if you get sent to a shelter, an emergency shelter, which in a, in a pandemic, pandemic is an oxymoron anyways, because what do you do with a bunch of sick people? Cram them all into an enclosed space and lock them up. <laughs> if you don't want people to get sick, that's the worst thing you could do. They're better off right where they are. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Do you think I'm reading too much into this? Maybe it literally is just instructions for if you had to go to an emergency shelter. But why is it being broadcast with regular commercial advertising? Isn't that something that should be brought up during an emergency? Hey, you need to go to a shelter, do this. Not... Just in case, you know, something happens in the next year or two and you have to go to a shelter and you want to keep maintaining those C-virus protocols. <laughs> this is how you're going to do it, folks. And, you know, call me paranoid, and that's fine. But I wonder if this isn't one of those, one of those subtle things that most people would ignore that we probably should be paying a little bit closer attention to. What are you trying to tell us? Are you planning on rounding people up? Why do we need to know this? Why do we need to bring our own supplies with us? You, you're going to take our supplies from us? Because you know they'll probably take your stuff. <laughs> the government's great for taking your stuff during an emergency. Just ask anybody who went through Hurricane Katrina what happened to a lot of their stuff. 
Anyway, like I said, um, what are your opinions about that commercial? Have you seen this ad? Because I'm seeing tons of it. I'm seeing this on, on uh, coming up on uh, TV and on programs. You know, I don't watch too much television, but you know, when you're sitting there, there's enough C virus commercial advertising as it is, especially animated stuff. And they like using animated stuff because it's non-threatening. You know, like again, it flies under the radar. You don't think about it too much as if it showed real people. So yeah, they, they always do that animation or humor. They use humor to try to try to get past your defenses. That's why uh, all talk show hosts are sellouts now. They, um, they're used to push political and social agendas. They're actors pushing political and social agendas and reading a script. That's happened to all these late night shows, daytime shows. You get the idea. Saturday Night Live is a pale comparison of what it used to be even a couple of decades ago. But anyway, what do you think about all that? What do you think about that commercial ad? Have you seen it? Does that make you wonder? Does that make the bulb go on? Tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And of course, I could be reading too much into it, but like I said, you never know. You never know. So please do share your opinion. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos if you have not. And if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. So what more can I say but stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.